So this is what a typical dorm room looks like in One Tribe Place, or OTP. Uh, we call it Ho House, actually, named after the hotel that it was built in, or it's a remodeled hotel, which was called Hospitality House, Ho House. As you can see here, I have one of the inner rooms, so there's a view of the courtyard from the uh, from my window. Uh, it's actually better to get a room looking in, because if you're on that side, uh, the bars are all on that side, and it can get quite noisy. Uh, this entire part of the uh, dorm hall is actually just the abandoned side of the hotel that hasn't been cleared out. They might be demolishing it soon, but not next year because the school is out of rooms to put people in, so they have to delay it. Uh, there's a whole abandoned restaurant, an abandoned ballroom. Um, I've got a picture of the abandoned ballroom before they locked it up. I took a picture, so I'll put that up on the screen right now. But yeah, that's what the window view looks like from the second floor. Um, as you can see, these are full-size beds. Like, come on, that's awesome. Uh, most of the other dorms, you're only going to be getting a twin or a uh, long twin size bed. So having these full size beds is awesome. Uh, the They're not very comfortable, so I highly recommend getting a mattress topper, either memory foam or pillow top, whichever one you prefer. Um, mine was like two inches of memory foam, and that was definitely a worthwhile investment. Uh, you've got the dressers here. These dressers are actually smaller and they have less compartments than um, the dresser in my previous dorm hall. Tolliver, which is Willis now, I suppose. Um, the ones in the old dorm had uh, separate cabinets on the side of some smaller uh, areas that I kept a lot of my other stuff. But as you can see, it's not that big of a deal because these rooms are massive. Like, Ho, Ho House is a, is a remodeled hotel. So each of these rooms is the size of a uh, hospitality house hotel room. So you can see I'm packing all my stuff up because I'm recording this on the day. Uh, that I'm moving out. Uh, that's also why there's no ceiling light. There's only this one lamp on uh, my dresser and this uh, standing lamp over here. So we got two dressers, two desks. Uh, these desks are actually different from the ones in the regular dorm, for one. Uh, in at least in my freshman dorm, this these cabinets and the desk were all one piece, but uh, in this dorm, they're two. The annoying thing about this desk is it doesn't have, as you can see under here, in the some of the other dorms, they have an area underneath the desk that you can pull out to sort of extend it further out. Uh, I like that a lot, and it kind of sucks not having it. There's an outlet underneath there. You can see it's trailing up there, as well as an outlet behind the bed back here. I have a power strip attached to my uh, dresser. What else? Oh, there was a wasp trying to build a nest right up there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I scared it off, and it hasn't come back since. Um, yeah, my bike's already here, too. <laughs> I've taken apart the bike to make it easier to move out. Uh, moving over here. So this is the closet area. It's actually quite large. Um, definitely more space than my freshman dorm hall. And it's also got this shelf up here, which is why... Uh, having the smaller dressers isn't that big of a deal because there's just so much space that you can use to store things uh, either in this closet area or in the bathroom. So the bathroom's great. Hey there. Um, the shower is, you know, it's a pretty typical shower. Um, let me focus up here. We never really had that many problems with hot water. I think it only happened two or three times the whole semester. Uh, which is actually pretty okay, considering it would happen all the damn time in Tolliver. So yeah, great, great um, closets. The bathroom is nice. Uh, on the first floor, if you're worrying about toilet paper, on the first floor there's a closet where you can uh, grab toilet paper from. And, alright, I guess we'll just take a journey out to the hallway and find the... Let me sure I, get back. I can get back in my room. Yep, it's got one of these locks. And you do get key cards, so you don't have your regular dorm key. If you lose the card, you do have to pay $50. But another awesome thing, check this out. Elevators. So you don't have to carry your stuff up and down. It's also got these uh, weird case display cases that I guess they just never bothered moving out of Ho House. 
and this is the lounge, which honestly kind of sucks. There's no TV, no games or anything. I don't think most dorms in William and Mary have them. <laughs> I think this was, used to be like either a um, master suite because it does have the key card on it, uh, and it does have the kitchenette. Uh, it might have also been a meeting room. There's a whiteboard back there and a bunch of chairs and tables, but yeah, no one really uses the lounge. Um, so, and definitely don't use the oven because that's set off so many fire alarms the ovens have. It's not good. Yeah, each of the floors is also a different color. The first floor is yellow, second floor is green. Um, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Not much else in here. It's a pretty cozy dorm. Um, it's across the street from the football stadium, um, so it's not like too far from most of the other, most of the academic buildings, but then again, it's a really small campus, so if you've got a bike, you really should have no problem getting where you need to be whenever you need to be there. Bring a bike. Uh, there's also a, uh, a parking garage where you can store your bike so that you don't have to worry about it uh, getting rusty in the rain. Another thing, air conditioning. Yes. It's awesome. The AC works really well. Right now I have it set to, I think I set it all the way down just to see what would happen. Uh, it's actually much quieter than the other dorms. I'm not sure if you can hear it right now. It's set to high at the moment. And it's definitely, it's definitely very effective. I've never, it's never gotten too hot or too cold. Uh, and like how the window units in some of the freshman dorms do. The AC is very, very, very effective. Uh, and it's quiet, which is very, very nice. So yeah, that's Hull House. Thanks. Mm -hmm.